Hi everyone, welcome. I have a video for you today. Today I'm going to do a quick, um, I'm going to show these books. So I am de-stashing these. They are not my thing anymore. They are not my favorite. When I first started coloring, I loved these books. They were cheap, they were easy. Um, but now that I have grown a little bit and I'm more into pencil and intricate things, these are just not my cup of tea. So I figured before I de-stashed them, I would go ahead and show you a little bit of the inside of each one um, in case you like them. I do not know if these are available on Amazon, but I do know you can find them in Walmart. You can buy them singly or they come in cases with colored pencils and markers and things, which is where I started collecting mine. Um, these are the pages I've done out of the collection, which I'll show you as we go. But yeah, they're just um, not my favorite anymore. And I'm going to start needing room at some point. So I will just start with this one. This is one of my first ones. This is Creative Quotes. These are Timeless Creations by Crazy Art. Here is the back side. And I will just give you a quick, like, kind of preview of each one. I used to save these for like competitions. There were groups that would do competitions and things. Um, I could still save a couple for practice pages, but really I just need the room. So that one is Creative Quotes. This is a newer one I bought recently. This is Ocean Vibes. And I might keep this one a little longer, but again, I am not into the patterns and the Zentangly is not just for me. Um, I've been looking into where to donate them. I know senior centers take them, and we have a place called CES for Disabled People, but I'm not sure with COVID how their donating procedures are going. Um, but we will see. This is Soothing Escape. I got this one because, I, if you haven't noticed, I really love beach scenes, and I thought this would be a neat one. But again, with all the patterns and things, it's just not for me. I could even ship them out. I could still probably do this one, but with prices of shipping and things right now, I don't even know if it would be worth it. So there is Soothing Escape Coloring Book. Okay, Dreams Take Flight. You will notice a couple of these have like my initials or it will say moms. Um, when I first started coloring, I always bought two of everything for me and my daughter. So hers have her name on them. Mine have mine. This one was Dreams Take Flight. I don't think I've ever done one out of here. Um, the good thing about alcohol marker is I can just wipe my name right off the front and it's an untouched book. Whimsical Friends. These are a little bit of the newer ones. Not too new new because I haven't bought them in probably a year or so. Because I just quit coloring them so I quit buying them. But Her images are starting to change a little. A little more drawing and a little less patterns. But and I have a ton of these books so I'm going to go fairly quickly. If you would like a full flip of any of these just mention the name and I can totally get that up. That is not a problem. But for the sake of time, because I have so many of these. So like this one, this one is one I have colored, but it is also out of Creative Beauty, which is another thing I noticed, is images started repeating and um, I had already colored this one twice. So when I, these are, oh my gosh, 2017, I did a rainbow one. When I first started coloring, as you can see, I did everything in zebra, or zebra, goodness, uh, rainbow. I really liked the look of it. So, and then I did a, just a blue fishy type one. And these are just Sharpies and Bix. That's all I started with when I started coloring. Um, that might be a fun one to update now that it's been a few years, but we'll see. This one isn't bad. I could always pull a couple and write the book on the back of them and put them in my Someday folder. But my Someday folder is getting a little large itself. 
So I do have three of this one because there was a couple pages I tried a couple different things on. So as you can see, the fish isn't in this one, but and I thought maybe these would be fun for like a stained glass effect, but they're just not, they don't work that way. Playful puppies, if you are into puppies. Another untouched, never got into it. This one is cute. Like, this one has potential. But would I ever actually sit down and do it over <laughs> some of the other projects I want to get to? I'm not sure. That's like why, why I think I need to de stash so these books can find somebody who loves them. So, playful pups. Okay, those are all the same. Okay, splash of color. And I think I have or had two of this one. And I think I combined it all into one. So there's that fish again, yet again. So, um, like I said, the images started repeating. I seen this jellyfish in another one. Probably one of the seasides. when I started, never finished. I loved the ideas of these books, but oh my gosh, the patterns and stuff just kill me. I think I've tried this dolphin one. Oh, no, they're a little different. Turtle started, never finished. So there is Splash of Color of it actually. Mystical Journey is a full completed untouched book. Another idea I had was to use these for giveaways but again with shipping to certain areas I'm not sure how well that would work. liked the idea of this one at first. It just... You can see where my daughter wrote a love note. So I will have to cover that if I get rid of it. Forever Friends. So I thought this one was going to be more cutesy pets type images. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can tell, there's two different shades of paper in here. So there's like the really white and then the off-white. Not sure why that is. And it doesn't really bother me. It's just something I happen to notice. But I kind of like these images. Um, but then it goes back to these darker ones again. There's that pug with the roses. So if I ruined it the first time, I could try it again. There is Forever Friends. Oh, I have a kitten over here playing in my book stash and I scared him. Fabulous Florals. So this one and Magical Garden I did actually do quite a bit in. I don't think I have them anymore because I never used to leave them in the book for some reason. But I, think I might keep these ones. That one's pretty, pretty page. These ones aren't as zentangled as the other books. I like this one. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Your style, not your style, have you tried them, anything that works better for you, um, that type of thing. So there are those two. This this beautiful one that I tackled once upon a time is out of this Magical Gardens book. Sorry about the notification. I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb again. But yeah, a lot of fun pages in here. So fabulous florals, obviously all flowers. Not real big on these types of flowers. I have been getting a little more into them, but not this. 
not this style. <laughs> so that is my whole B stash pile of Timeless Creation books. Oh, no, I, excuse me, not yet. I forgot, I have multiples of each of these. So there are five books left, but I only need to show two. These ones are neat, I do like these ones. The idea behind them is neat, having a little bit of black here and there. But again, you have to be into the wallpaper images just not something I am into. I don't have the patience for wallpapers and patterns. So, but I bet somebody out there could really do these pages justice. Now like this one could be fun. Learning to do gems. That would be a great practice page. Sorry about the vacuuming. I can't turn it down because it's my upstairs neighbors. <laughs> so yes, that one is bright and beautiful. Then we have Neon Adventures. So there's that peacock again. BU. Butterflies. Oh, not every page has the black background. And this one, I feel like they just took a little bit out of every book. So this is out of the quote book. This is out of the animal book. This is out of the animal book. This is out of the Splash of the Sea book. So I feel like I have all these pages already. And they just threw them in a different book. But yeah, questions, comments, leave them down below. Like I said, if you need a flip of anything, please let me know. I can do that as well. Um, thank you for watching my D-Stash pile. I hope to see you next video. If you have any um, collections of mine that you want to see or see if I have done, I can do that also. Thanks for watching.